Dear students, dear founders and future founders, dear participants, it is a great pleasure for me to welcome you on the occasion of the second Austrian spin-off conference. We are all facing major challenges, not just the corona pandemic, but also climate change and the digital transformation, to mention only a few. The need for research has never been greater. Thus, the Austrian federal government adopted an ambitious RTI, Research, Technology and Innovation Strategy, at the end of 2020 and made a total of um, 3.9 billion euros available for the implementation of the first RTI pact from 2021 to 2023. The big challenge is to ensure that new research results reach people as efficiently and quickly as possible. The better we succeed in rapidly applying new findings, the faster new value chains will emerge, ensuring that pandemic knowledge is well exploited and new resources of prosperity are tapped in for our society. Spin-offs and their founders play a crucial role in this because it is you as founders or future founders who crea creatively develop research results into new products and business models. You are the drivers of innovation in all areas of life. Therefore, an overarching goal of the RTI strategy 2030 is to increase the impact and the effectiveness of research. One specific goal is 100% more commercially successful academic spin-offs by 2030. Austria is well on the way to achieving this target. So the number of spin-offs has increased in recent years. In 2020, there were 90 academic spin-offs, an increase of 16 spin-offs compared to the previous year. The spin-off fellowships program aims to support our efforts in this respect. So far, 24 projects have been funded, from which 10 spin-offs have already emerged. An extension of the fellowship program as of January the 1st, 2022 is planned. The record number of submissions for the Austrian Phoenix Prize 2021, with over 200 applications, also underscores this encouraging trend. Let me also point out uh, the performance agreements with the Austrian public universities for the next three years. A maximum transfer of research results into innovation is one of the three core topics. Fields of actions are the further implementation of effective IP and exploitation strategies, even more cooperation with business, the expansion of spin-off cultures and, of course, the increase in spin-offs over the next three years. With all these measures, we want to create ideal framework conditions so that students and researchers experience entrepreneurship at an early stage. They should be able to anchor it even more firmly as an option in their career planning. Courage, innovative strength, creativity, and entrepreneurial spirit must be increasingly supported and rewarded. So I'm very glad to see that there are more and more initiatives at universities and research institutions that create a positive environment for innovation and scalability. You, as innovative students and founders, with a high level of creativity and a wealth of ideas are the best representatives for the high innovation potential of your universities or research institutions. You are the key players who contribute to the successful development of an entrepreneurial university. I'm therefore very much looking forward to two days keynotes by successful founders and to fruitful discussions. It would be my pleasure 
to be able to motivate still undecided students or researchers to further develop and implement their existing ideas and research results in form of a spin-off. Let me end by thanking Professor Hauser and his excellent team for this valuable initiative. I wish you a great day in the spirit of entrepreneurship. Much success and good luck.